All right, we're off to the market. My second one, Evie's first one. She's so happy to be up this early. Look at her. Label on these. Yeah. And these right here are drinking glasses as well. They get a bonus. I really hope the market's busy today because we have millions of flowers. <laughs> Standing behind the flowers. Yeah, you gonna do that? We gotta cheers. Well, guys, I'm about to pull into my own driveway, so don't worry, I'm not videotaping and driving. But um, we did really good at the market today. It felt like the market was slower than it was last week, but we ended up selling more. I think it felt slower because we had so many flowers this week. I brought everything I cut, which was like three times as many as last week. So we didn't sell them all, but we still ended up selling more bouquets this week than last week, so that's really awesome. But um, I tried to film as much as I could and then I got busy and forgot. So I hope you understand. I'm gonna try to take my camera with me where I'm going next. It's very exciting for me, so um, just keep watching. guys I have humid morning hair that I haven't done anything with but I uploaded the footage from Saturday and realized that I never closed out the video um, from the getting my finally getting my greenhouse so I'll tell you the little backstory on it I was scrolling Facebook marketplace as one does I wasn't even searching anything I was just perusing and I see a used greenhouse at a very affordable price um, that had everything we need. I will probably end up having to buy new plastic for it, but I will take that. Um, so as all gardeners do, you dream of having a high tunnel. Uh, you see all the other people doing it, <laughs> but it wasn't really in our budget to buy a new one. Um, and we were waiting for a good used one and it just hadn't come up yet we were looking <clears throat> in the winter so that we could have one for the summer this year and it just didn't work out so i wasn't really looking anymore obviously i'm very busy doing other things so that took my mind off of it but um 
I had my husband message the guy. I'm standing in front of the trailer that we haven't unloaded, but it has all the pieces. It's so exciting. Um, so I had my husband talk to the guy and we went and picked it up Saturday. Um, the reason why I didn't finish Saturday was because, you know, just like the last market, this market at about an hour or so after it started, I started to feel the headache creep in and I'm like, oh no. So then I hurried up and took ibuprofen and I was trying to make sure I was hydrated this time and I still got, I ended up getting a migraine. Um, again and for all you people that deal with migraines all the time it is something that I've never experienced before like I've never broken a bone so I've never been in a huge amount of pain unless I was like in childbirth and it's not like childbirth but it's just the feeling of having pain that is not going to go away is not a good feeling. And um, I ended up taking, the ibuprofen didn't work, and I don't like taking medication, so I don't take anything unless it's unbearable. And so then I went and got Exc Excedrin migraine, and that helped for a couple hours, and then wore off. And, and then, tell me if you guys deal with this after a migraine, because this is all new to me the next day even and I googled my symptoms and migraine hangovers exist and I had one like my brain was so foggy I had pressure in my in my head and in my ears like my brain was like not functioning it was like half speed I just felt like there was like a film over my eyes like nothing looked clear it was and then by like one o'clock yesterday it was okay and so Ay ay ay, that's not fun and I'm starting to feel pressure in my head, but also the stress of the market is probably what is inducing these things. But um, a weather front moved in and we got almost two inches of rain yesterday. It was so exciting, I'm so happy, but that's also the change in pressure I'm sure is what uh, also led to my demise. But um, I'm trying to not get a migraine today. I'm trying to stay on top of it, stay hydrated. I ate eggs for breakfast and I'm getting some fresh air. So trying to put on a happy face. <laughs> but I just wanted to close out this video um, saying that there's going to be very exciting things in my future, in my gardening future. Uh, for the future of this farm. I'm gonna be able to grow things all winter. I obviously, I understand how high tunnels work. It's not like it's gonna be tropical in there, but I think that I can keep uh, the frost off all of my um, cold weather veggies that I started. And I could even throw frost cloth over uh, those really cold days. Hopefully I can keep these things going as long as possible. I'm already growing things that are really cold hardy anyway. Um, the kales that I chose to grow, like the scarlet kale and things. I just researched things that were going to be very um, frost hardy. So I think those will do great. I've got some cauliflower, broccoli and stuff, but those will finish before um, it really gets cold, cold. Like January cold, um, hopefully. So I just wanted to give you guys a little life update and finish out the video that I started on Saturday. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.